So the war between Wendy Williams and Black China's mother, Tokyo Tony, has been going on for a while now. And man, uh, I remember when Tokyo, this is like maybe a few weeks or so ago, I made a video about it and wrote a blog about it. She got to a point where she was so fed up with the shit that Wendy Williams was saying on TV that she was like, you know what? I I'm just going to sue this heifer. You know, she was about to go ahead and have her attorneys, lawyers, whatever, you know, contact Wendy on some old... <laughs> Yeah, you're not going to emotionally distress me or whatever she was going through. You know, she was saying that basically the things that Wendy Williams was saying about her were affecting her and, and her life. Basically, it was really messing her up. And it's like she can't escape the crap that Wendy's saying. Because I know a lot of y'all are saying, well, why, why watch it? Why not just turn it off? If you don't want to hear this heifer, you know, talking about you, talking about your daughter, why don't you just stop watching? You know, because she's Wendy Williams. She's a talk show host. Let her go ahead and talk her shit and just ignore this heifer. Check this mess out. You know Tokyo drives Uber, right? When she was on the job, a woman showed her a clip from Wendy Williams where Wendy was talking about her. So she can't escape it even when she's at work. She said, a lady gets in my Uber and plays this. Tell me this. How do you talk so deep and hard about a person who isn't a celebrity? Why pick me out? The land in the wheelchair reminded me of Tokyo Tony pulling out a 12-ounce Pepsi. And a 10-inch blade, says Wendy Williams. Sorry I missed this episode because I would be in New York. Oh, I make the K-girls look like choir girls? Sorry, none of Eric's kids twerked. I did and did a hella job, bitch. How is that I get the big screen full of bullshit? China's mom debut, bitch. October 8th, 1970 was my debut bitch get it right all the way right you have such a fixation on me and i don't know why you are a bully wendy you're sitting around popping that peabody face in the wrong direction one minute you want to pull puppet strings the next quote unquote defame me well <laughs> you get a pass because if i allow you to damage my spirit with your evil shit you win how many more episodes am i really in and what the fuck for you talk about me like I fucked your husband or something. It wasn't me, bitch. It was Susan. Damn, did she have to bring that? <clears throat> At Wendy show, have a blessed night. Signing off. I got rest to get. Damn, she even added Wendy to make sure she saw that message. Damn. Man, and I'm a blogger and there's only so much I can say because I'm not trying to be up in the middle of this shit. This is getting thick right here. But like she said, Tokyo Tony brought up a great, great point. Tokyo Tony is technically not a celebrity. She's a celebrity mom. So since she's not really in the spotlight like that, like if you've ever visited her Instagram page, this is what Tokyo Tony does. She works. She drives her Uber cab. So she goes to work. She, if I'm not mistaken, has like a, a record label or some, some some sort of entertainment company. I think it's called OMG or something like that with a friend. And uh, the other lady's a singer. So they're doing their thing with that. So they have sort of music ventures, entertainment ventures. Tokyo's basically a hustler. And when she's not doing that, she's out there giving away food, clothing, whatever. Whatever people who are in need, need very positive very very generous lady and then she stays dropping knowledge you know about that like secret stuff like the secret occult type stuff like the, the symbols and the signs and who's who's the quote unquote illuminati types of yeah she stays informing people about stuff like that too so be sure to you know follow her on instagram if i'm not mistaken her page is private but you know all the cool people were following but anyways <laughs> you know tokyo is off the chain but in a very good way. You see, I'm a huge fan of Tokyo Tony. At first, I didn't know what the hell to expect from her. I'm like, oh, this is Black China's mama? And I remember this like maybe a few years ago when I saw her in her little tight outfit looking all sexy and stuff. And I was like, why is somebody's mama dressed like that? And, you know, and I, you know, I, I jumped the judgment. And now, like, I'm kicking myself in the ass because, like, I'm, like, a fan of Tokyo. Actually, the love I have for Tokyo made me start to like China, to tell you all the truth. I never said that in the video or on my blog, but that's the truth. It was actually Tony who made me start to like China because I was just like, oh, look at, you know, I'm like, they ratchet, you know, I didn't know what I was talking about. You know, I, I stand completely corrected. But yeah, Tokyo's that chick. 
And I never liked Wendy Williams' ass. I never, ever had love for Wendy like that. So y'all know what I think about this. Y'all know whose side I'm on, right? Y'all know I'm on Tokyo's side, 100 million, trillion, gazillion percent, right? All right, just to let y'all know. I think that my girl Wendy Williams, with her crazy ass, needs to leave Tokyo the hell alone. You see that what you're saying is stressing around. I know the word has to get back to Wendy. Somebody has to be telling her something like, hey, this is what's being said on the blogs. Tokyo was mad at you for this and the third. She also said something about possibly suing you. You know, why don't you leave her alone? Why don't you, you know, just just fall back, Wendy? Why don't you lay up, you know, lay up off of her? She's Black China's mom. She's not the celebrity. She's the celebrity mom. I'm pretty sure somebody said something to Wendy by now. But she's still talking about her. At this point, I would chill and be like, you know what? That's that's Black China's mom. So let me just, you know, let me find something else. To talk. Let, let me talk about China and Rob because they're the ones in the spotlight. They're the ones that, that want the fame and fortune. Let me talk about them because it's my job to talk about celebrities. I mean, if she wasn't Black China's mom, would she be talking about her? See what I'm saying? So Wendy just needs to go find herself. Wendy Biggerfoot Williams. Sasquatch looking ass. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm a Wendy Williams hater and a Tokyo Tony lover. So of course I'm going to say this. I'm biased as a mug and I'm not going to deny it. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit MeatMagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram.